Hello. I pray that you're well today. We conclude the book of Jude today. Let me read it for you. But dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said, in the last times there'll be scoffers who follow their own ungodly desires. These people who divide you, who follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our God, Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, to bring you to eternal life. Verse 22, be merciful to those who doubt. Is there somebody in your life that's doubting, struggling? Be merciful to them. Be patient with them. Be full of grace for them. Be merciful to those who doubt. Save others by snatching them from the fire. To others show mercy mixed with fear. Not everybody's at the same spot. Some people need patience. Other people need to be snatched from the fire. Other people need mercy mixed with fear. Hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. Who are the people in your life? And what's the nature of their spiritual condition? Who do you need to be merciful with? And who do you need to snatch others from the fire, the dangerous situation? And who do you need a mixture of both? And he goes on to say this in verses 24 and 25. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. What an incredible scripture. To God, who's able to keep you from stumbling, who's able to keep you from falling, may he present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. Without fault is in Jesus, with great joy is in Jesus. To the only God, our Savior, be glory and majesty and power and authority. It's reminiscent of those lists in the book of Revelation in heaven. Power and glory and majesty and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages now and forevermore. There are different kinds of people in our life and they have different kinds of needs. But God receives our doxology, that is our praise, because he's the one able to keep you from stumbling. He's the one who's able to present you with out fault and with great joy. And he's the one who deserves glory and majesty and power and authority. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray that you give us wisdom and know how to deal with one another. For the people that need patience from us because they're doubting and the people who need to, we need to help them snatch them from the fire because they're in such danger. We pray, Lord God, that you give us wisdom to know who should receive what. We also, in fact, give you the glory and honor and majesty and power and authority that you deserve. For you deserve all praise. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to ask you, I want to ask you for praying for people praying for those who are grieving the loss of those they love, praying for those who are in a difficult situation. If you want to help, if you are willing to help, we have new ministries happening. Bridge to Home, our homeless ministry, helping those individuals who are on the street go from an unstable situation to a stable situation. How can you help us? You can help us with household goods. You can help us with clothing. You can help us with gathering those kind of things that when the weather turns in about two months, maybe three, that we will need them even more. And we have Morning Star Ministry. Tuesday mornings, a Bible study. Do you have some time for people to just to listen to them? Maybe they don't have many visitors at all. Those are some opportunities to express the love of Jesus Christ. We pray for you today. May God grant you his peace and his strength. God's grace.